Grisim Industries, a part of the Aditya Birla Group, has entered the paint business with its new brand Birla Opus, investing rupees 10,000 crore. The company aims to become the second largest player in a decorative paints, targeting a rupees 10,000 crore revenue and profitability by financial year 2018. Grasim has commissioned three plants and plans to operate three more with a combined capacity second only to Asian paints. The question stands, how far is this aimed that? Hi everybody. Uh, the next one is Asian paints. A lot of cautious commentary coming in on the back of the paints business launched by Grasim. Asian paints while reporting strong financials in Q3 FY24 faces predicted EBITDA margin declines due to increased competition. It aims to defend market share through increased advertising and promotional expenses and is expected to experience stunted growth in the medium term. Despite its strong market position and growth, brokerage firms like Kotak Equities and Prabhudas Leeladar has revised their ratings and target prices for Asian paints due to anticipated challenges posed by Grasim's entry and the competitor landscape in the paint sector. One of the pertinent questions I heard from the elaboration is, how do market analysts and brokerage firms perceive the entry of the industries into paint business and what are their predictions regarding its impact on the competitive landscape and financial performance of existing players? Market analysts and brokerage firms' perception of Grasim's industry entry into paint business includes number 1. is Significance of Grasim's Entry Market analysts and brokerage firms perceive the industry's entry into paint business as a significant development within the sector. The launch of Birla Opus Paints brand is anticipated to intensify competition and disrupt the established market dynamics. Number 2 is Strengths of Grasim's Entry with permission to operate plants in strategic locations like Manipat, Ludhiana and Cheyar, Grasim aims for a wide operational footprint, substantial investment which amounts to 49% of its capex outlay. Capex outlay refers to a capital expenditure outlay which represents the amount of money a company plans to spend on acquiring, upgrading or maintaining physical assets such as property, plant, equipment and technology. It encompasses investments made by a company to support its ongoing operations, expand its business, or enhance its competitive position in the market. Capex outlay is an essential aspect of financial planning and decision making for businesses as it directly impacts their long term growth prospect and profitability. Number 3 is Distribution Network Advantage. Analysts express concerns about the Grasim's potential impact given its strong distribution reach derived from its presence in related segments like cement and beauty. They believe that the Grasim's existing business channels will enable Birna Opus to rapidly establish a robust diverse network, giving it a competitive edge. Number 4 is Anticipated Impact on Financial Performance. These are the predictions drag on EBITDA margins for the paint sectors as a whole, reflecting the competitive pressure anticipated with the entry. Existing players may face challenges in maintaining margins amidst heightened competition, potentially leading to increased advertising expenditure and price competition. Number 5 is Ratings and Recommendations for Existing Players Brokerage firms like HDFC Securities and Incred Equities have issued cautious ratings on existing players with sell or reduce recommendations. The site concerns about tougher revenue growth comparisons, rising competitive intensity and limited pricing leverage for existing players in the near term. Hope you liked the video. Let's unlock together your full potential and achieve remarkable success in the world of business. If you are new to the channel, do like, share and subscribe for more such content related to business and finance. Till then, goodbye everyone.